welcome back so in the previous video we worked on the categories part of application so in this video we are going to work on the product list as we see here and the logic is going to be the same thing so here we have one two three four items in a row so it means that for each item great item you're going to take three six nine twelve and that is it so let's quickly go ahead and do that remember we are inside the product container right and we can create a component for product list and then we're going to render that one inside that right so here let's create one file and call this one product product list dot js and quickly let's do that one here perfect so here i need my grid that's why grid is really awesome in material ui let's provide that and as, as you can guess this one going to be my container i'm going to have some spacing for that and then give this one as two and inside i have my grid item here like that and then we call this one an item and on medium screen i want to provide this one at three okay and then we call this one product one product one okay so let's go ahead and align them perfectly cool so for the grid item here we need to provide a width for this so that or better store you can leave it as that so let's go back to the product container here make sure you are inside the product container and let me call this one product list okay product list here and then now I comment here product list now it's time to use it it's time to use the the comment now so let's see what we have achieved okay product one is here so I'm gonna have product list you have three items four items in a row so here I'll copy this one for three times two three four okay so now let's work on the first one the create item one okay so um i'm gonna have an image first we are also the image have already been provided for you and okay let's work on this one here and let me bring in box because i need my image so let's auto import over there let me see yes is okay from system and the component this one going to be an image right and the image for this src for this one is the SRC, the source of the image here is images folder and then there we have product product and then inside i have an image name called image1.png so when i save this one let's see there we go we have the product one all right so let's provide some class name to this image and call this one the weight of this image is going to be 100 percent 100 percent okay so now how one i one i have my image being displayed so next one is going to be my typography my text right so i'll copy this one typography here the text here paste it here and then we can type it so we have typography here variant six and some ss prop font is bold and then the color is red host for sports so when i save this one typography is not defined so let's require this one and check it out okay there we go so let's add some description to my my title here i'm going to paste the description here some dummy text right and provide a variant called body okay and the price and the price here so after description the price here make sure you are inside the great item the first one okay so let's see there you go just giving the color of the text so the last thing is going to be the the rating right you see we have this kind of, sort of rating and provide a number and we have some small description here so i'll show you how to use this one okay so we also have the small description for this one that is above nine 
uh, 5.95 for free shipping for shipping right so after the price place this one and then just place it here and provide the variant subtitle to and the color of gray and that is it so here let's work on the uh the rating so here let's call this one rating wrapper I'm going to wrap this rating wrapper simply means that it means that if you look at it, we have the rating and the value a long way. So you're going to display this one as a flex box, a row, and that's why I'm wrapping this one inside a box. Right? So here I'll call this one box. Um, box here. And inside the box, I'm gonna have my rating component, right? So let's go to material UI and search for rating component. Rating, yeah. And let's scroll. We have basic rating component here. As you can see, we have control one. This is what I use and read only and disable. And it's really easy to implement this. So let's go back to VS Code and show you how I did it. Right, cool. So here, let's go back to, okay, here. So let me provide the rating component here as that rating component cool as self closing and in here I'll provide a name of the rating let me call this one half rating half rating okay cool and then I want to provide default value default value here by default it has a rating of 2.5 okay and provide precision it means that of 0 0.5 it means that it will be increased from 1 0 0.1 sorry 0 0.5 1 1.5 to 2.5 if you provide make it 1 it will be it should be starting from 1 2 3 and 4 so but ideally it started from 0 0.5 okay and then the last thing is let's provide typography for the text the value if you want to calculate so right from if you are fetching this one from api the calculation will be done in the back end before it being fetched so let me call this one 4.9 rating which is good so let's see um, what we have there we go you see but i want i want to align this one this four here uh, in the same row as a rating that is why I wrap this one inside box component so display here gonna be flex and say justify content to be central and then align items to be center as that okay so let's see the effect now and there we go we have it right but I don't want to have some um justify content to be center here to be flex start so that to be on the same level as this one okay cool so let's provide let's go back to the the grid itself and provide some class names to that right because it's so close to the edge of the page so for the grid container here i think we can provide sorry the great item or the container let's provide sx prop here and say margin bottom let me give it five and let's see yeah i think it's cool it's okay now so now that we have it we can copy this one couple of times right so let's go ahead and do that so now we have the first one start from eight right so we have eight here and ends here so let me copy make sure i reach at number eight this is the first one right so let me remove this one and the whole of this one here and paste it couple times two three four the first one is done right there we go right but if you i place again because it's up to, it's now 12 and if i place again it's gonna be 15 so to move to the next line check it out when I paste again, the next one will move to the next row as that. So let me paste it two times to have that. Okay, one left, one more, and there we go. 
So the difference here is chain the images, and that is all what has led for us to do. Okay. So let's quickly go back to the first one. The first image here. Sorry. Is it image one? Mm, yeah, you have image here, the first one, and the second one here. Was it image two? Let me see. logic is most important okay so now this is how we implement it and the last part is going to be the text here and also the same way as we did for the um, product list here so we will end the tutorials here so I think uh, then I'll give this one as a challenge to try your hands on how you can implement the I mean the product section here